The mantra around here has been April showers bring May showers. <laughs> it has been raining cats, dogs, iguanas, and sasquatches for what feels like forever, but the heavens have finally cleared just in time for Annapolis Yacht Club Wednesday Night Racing Series 1, race number 4. Hi, I'm Ashley Love from T2P TV, and joining me from behind the camera, as always, our producer, Bruce Nairn. We have a couple of ties going into tonight. The J80s have a tie between Some Respect and Outlaws, Perf between Ronin and Whitecap, and in the Etchells class between Marge and Make Mine a Double. What will tonight's race have in store? in May we have a downwind start it's a northerly breeze do you start at the pin where you have a little bit more distance to sail or do you sail at the boat where you might get blanketed by everybody we're gonna find out aren't we Rod Javits Ramrod chooses the boat the course for the Harbor 20s is very close to the outer course. Their first start of the evening with Belle Cardian Puffin winning the boat all by herself. Plenty of speed. The second start for the Harbor 20s with 704 Despacito, Jose and Chrissy Fuentes trying to win the boat. But Killer Rabbit, John Forrest, wins off the line. Man, he is just crushing it this season in the lead overall after three races. The J105s take their turn at this downwind start. Lin Yap with the black spinnaker in the foreground. Tries to take the shortest distance, but they have a lot of bad air to contend with. The J88s and the J80s have a shared starting line. Huffinator 340 timed the line right with a late set. Bow sail number 405 is Rich Harrison. Some respect, one of the boats that's in a tie right now. Rich, the owner, is 80 years old sailing on this J80, and he's been racing J boats since the 1980s. Sailing with his boys who are all grown up with families of their own now, and they all sail together. We have a very special guest aboard with us today, Dick Neville. He is here to chat about all of the things race committee, but that's not where he started. Of course, he started as a sailor coming up through the ranks as an offshore distance sailor and uh, ending up in Annapolis. I tell did. me, tell me about that. Well, it's a long, it's a long story, but uh, briefly, I sailed over here from Australia many years ago on an American boat and uh, I sailed over here to go offshore racing and I got 20 years of great offshore racing. And here. then you have just as many years doing race committee. What does it take to pull off a successful committee? Well, it's a challenge. It's just like sailing. It's a challenge, uh, but you're out on the water with your friends and uh, and you uh, try to do it right, just like you try to try to win a race uh, when you're sailing. So it's, uh, it's a challenge to get it right. And uh, when you do it right, it's satisfying. It's, it's a lot of fun. Fantastic. It always takes not only the sailors, but the people running the races to make it all successful. And for the Annapolis Yacht Club, you do a lot of running races for them, right? Well, I'm trying to help uh, a big team here. For instance, this uh, Wednesday night race team is uh, pretty big just because 
uh, of the complexity of running uh, Wednesday night races for 130 plus boats, which is probably one of the biggest fleets in the country. Right. It and is maybe the longest running Wednesday night race in the country, racing in the country. Completely mind blowing. We're really grateful for all you do. And 20, maybe 20 people out here on the water, maybe 25, and another dozen on land to uh, finish all these uh, boats when they when they finish right in front of the club. You know, so it's it's a really hard thing to do. The course tonight is a long downwind out to a drop mark near R2, and Relentless is a round in first for the J105s. They will sail upwind back up to a mark near Hackett's Point. Wow, Patriot had a late drop and another boat tried to go on the inside of them. There might have been a collision there, but two boats are dead stop in the water now. The rest of the fleet charging through. This fleet is massive at 28 boats. It's causing pandemonium down here at their leeward mark. Great pressure condenses everything tight together. With the breeze switching a bit to the right, it's a tight reach for the J30s. Some of them electing not even to put up a spinnaker, but Cannonball 2 did Ralph Riddle in the lead. Way drop. A little mm. bit of a lured douse, but then... Mm -hmm got it pretty much under control. Really? Maybe? They need a second bow person up there. I don't think so. Help a girl out. Oh, there, there comes the mass man. Two of the Etchels are flying downwind. Make mine a double. Jeff Borland with a slight lead. The sonar is charging through. Gina Henderson on boat number one, trimming the spinnaker on the boat she is registered as. The lead boat in Perf, where egos dare Chris Troxel's Friars 35. That's Friars. Friars. They have been racing Wednesday nights for as long as I can remember. How about you, Bruce? No, I go back a little further. The Cal 25s have the best spinnakers, hands down, and the Allberg 30 that's about to come in. Flying. The second Allberg 30, yeah. Skybird, Mike Nicolik. Taking it easy. They're shorthanded tonight. J88, first around A, the Dolphin, back into the harbor, Wild Ting, Ben and Brianna Jallo. The 88s and the 80s are very spread out tonight. Rob Mayer's Puffinator leads the way in the 80s by a country mile. 788 is more cowbell with Katya Sertl at the helm after a six year hiatus from the tiller. She is back. Bruce, the breeze held up quite nicely, ORC1. Yes, that was a surprise. Around the race course with their second set of the night. That's kind of rare for a Wednesday night. Just a weird, weird angle, but makes for good racing. Wild thing, J88 extending their lead. And once their kite goes up, they'll be even farther ahead. Actually, this looks like a pretty good lead. 
Yes, the 1SC can is the entrance to the very skinny mooring field to the finish line. There is no way anyone's catching them. Hey, Ashley, isn't that Jonathan Bartlett on board there? He's got yeah. a ringer. Oh, you send it in the wolf? <laughs> That's all you had to say. Well, next time Bruce doesn't need me, can I come hang out with you guys on race committee? You bet. The best uh, race committee people are usually uh, sailors that are tired of racing, and the next thing they want to do is be on the water with their friends, and we provide that uh, service. So please come and join us. Awesome. I mean, moving marks, scores. There's there's something for everybody. There's something for everyone. Yeah. yeah. We, we would love to have you. All right. Thanks for joining us. Thank you, Bruce Nairn. Thank you to the Annapolis Yacht Club and the Boatyard Bar and Grill for T2P TV. I'm Ashley Love. We'll see you next week. Thank you.